Hi students, welcome to the problem solving session on a transformer and emotional EMF. The problem given here is a conducting bar can slide freely over two conducting rails as shown in figure. I will draw the figure now. Calculate the induced voltage in the bar. First one, if the bar is at station that Y is equal to x centimeter and B is equal to 4 cos 6 10 power 6 T, A is at milli Weber per meter square. Part B, if the bar slides at a velocity of uh, V is equal to 20 Ay meter per second and the magnetic field at milli, uh, 4 A is at uh, milli Weber per meter square. Right? The diagram given in the problem is uh, like this. Like this, it's uh, two rails. Okay. Here, they are given like this. Fine. So, this is uh, x direction it is 0 it is 6 centimeter okay this is a rail and the conducting bar is given here this is what the bar this is p with uh, this is y direction right the bar is moving in this direction with velocity v and the magnetic field is given that means let me tell that dot indicates it is coming out of the screen. This is what B they gave. First, what we have to find uh, if the bar is stationed at Y is equal to 8 centimeter. Y is equal to 8. Let us assume this is the Y is equal to 8 value, Y, y direction. And uh, B they gave us uh, 4 cos 10 power 60 AZ. Here, the conducting bar is at station so conductor is stationary conductor stationary and the magnetic field is varying varying with respect to the direction so conductor stationary and the magnetic field varies means what is that it is nothing but our transformer emf so because conductor is stationed at conductor stationary means surely it is a transformer EMF. Okay, for that, what is the formula? E EMF that is a Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So minus dou B by dou T dot dS. This is a what uh, mm, uh, induced voltage or induced EMF, right? So B they gave so minus. Uh, okay, this is surface integral. Okay, let us see dou by dou t. B is 4 cos 10 power 60 Az. Okay, right. Now, what is the question is? Magnetic field is along z direction. That's what they have given. Right? B is in uh, z direction. It is coming out of the screen. So, what is the surface if uh, the magnetic field is coming out of the screen is the direction means what should be the surface the surface should be a xy surface right then only the normal will be z cap right it's nothing but a normal direction the cap indicates normal it is normal is in z direction means magnetic field should be uh, the surface should be xy plane so xy surface what is the area of xy surface dx or dy a is a vector right if you have any doubt please refer my video on cartesian coordinate system so if you take a so let us first uh, i find integration right this is surface integral that's why i put a s so do by do t uh, 4 cos uh, 10 power 60 a is it that a is it what do you get 1 so into dx and dy right okay now integration with respect to x and y so now we have to find what's the value of x range what's the value of y range right so you see from the diagram x direction goes from x varies from 0 to 6 centimeter so the integral will vary from x is equal to 0 to 6 centimeter is nothing but 0 0.06 meter right 
similarly where we kept our uh, conductor conductor is kept at y is equal to 8 cm y is equal to 8 cm means from 0 to 8 it has moved so y varies from 0 to 8 cm that is 0 0.08 fine so you see if you simplify this what you get is here it is 4 into 10 cos 10 power 60 right b is 4 cos 10 power 60 milli so milli means we have to include minus 10 power minus 3 here so i erase here right uh, into 10 power minus 3 now if you integrate and simplify it what you get is 19.2 sin 10 power 60 that's what we am right so this is what uh, uh, v emf right this transformer emf second problem b is what they are doing here they say bar is sliding conductor is moving and uh, magnetic field is uh, conductor moving means surely it is a motional emf magnetic field is this this one so v is equal to 20 a y right here V is equal to 20 A Y and B is given by what do you call a 4 A Z milli so into 10 power minus 3 weber per meter square. Now what I have to do? Conductor moves. Conductor moves means it is motional EMF. Right? So we have to find a motional EMF only. For motional EMF, uh, we know what is VEMF equation. VEMF is given by V cross B dot DL line integration. Right? So line integration V is what they have given 20 A Y. Fine. So 20 A Y cross b is given as 4 a z into 10 power minus 3 dot dl right dl is uh, the length of the conductor you see as per the problem length of the conductor this is the length yes or no this is the length of the conductor so it goes in the x direction so dl is dx ax suppose let us assume length is dx it is in the x direction so dl is dx ax dot dx ax fine okay now we see that uh, it's a line integral let us see and substitute the limit later okay this is uh, ay cross az 20 into 4 into 10 power minus 3 I multiplied uh, this one, this one, this one, that is scalar. I multiplied that. Ay cross Az is nothing but Ax. Ax dot dx Ax. Fine. So now if you simplify it, what you get is 80 into 10 power minus 3. Ax dot Ax is 1. So dx. Now we have to find the length. Right, so the length varies from x is equal to right l to zero. Clear? So that's what uh, our length, right? Mm. Now, if you simplify that, what you get is uh, you will get uh, four point eight milli volt. Right? So, sorry, 0 to L, if you put 0 to L, uh, what do you get is, see what is our length, you see, uh, L is varying from 6 cm, 0 to 6 cm, so you can put like that also, so uh, it will be, uh, let us see, 0 to 6 cm. So 0 to 6 centimeter means 0 0.06 meter 
So what we get is uh, 4.8 milli volt. Fine. So that's all about this session. If you are having any doubt, please ask me in comment section. I will clarify. Thank you.